Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to show you the four different types of 20 ounce skinny tumblers that we will be carrying on our website. And these guys that you see uh, here in the video, we're going to be sublimating them on the new uh, 20 ounce skinny uh, mug press that we got in. And we're gonna show you from start to finish on how to sublimate these using the machine. Here you have a stainless steel uh, sublimation tumbler. These two here are the new glitter tumblers. And if you look very closely, you'll see the glitter. This is the teal green. And this is the white glitter. And then the fourth one, of course, is the plain white sublimation 20 ounce tumbler. They do come with the lids. They come with a straw. And with the purchase of the uh, 20 ounce uh, skinny mug press, you will be receiving a free 20 ounce sublimation white tumbler. So let's get going. All right, to give you an idea of the images that we are using, these are just plain Google images. Um, I enhanced each of them. As I've stated before in the group, I always enhance all my images. Uh, I don't care where they come from, whether I bought them, took them from Google, whatever. All images uh, should be enhanced uh, to give you better color and detail and so on. So here they are printed from Affinity Designer in reverse or mirror image. They measure 9.4 inches across by 8.3 in height. Okay, so this is one of the three tumblers we're going to be making today using the uh, skinny ounce, uh, the 20 ounce skinny mug press. And just wanted to show you the before. And I chose a black and white just to show you guys how it'll come out on the tumbler, a very colorful one. And then a basic, you know, colorful image. Okay, so we're going to get going and we're going to tape them to the cup. See you in a few. One of the most important things when doing uh, any type of sublimation is to make sure that the image is secured uh, to the item. So what we did here is we matched up where we have the two sides coming together hopefully in a perfect match so you don't have a, a white line seam or whatever. It does happen every now and then. It happens to me. But I got it pretty lined up pretty good. And then you tape it down and you smooth it out with your finger to get out whatever air bubbles could be present in the tape. This is now ready to be put into the mug press. One of the things I wanted to mention to you as you're doing your images is because everything is has to be basically precise, you know, when you put the images onto the tumblers, uh, when you print out your image, of course, you're going to have excess sublimation paper around the image. And what you want to do is you want to use a good paper cutter, all right? Or if you're pretty good with scissors, that's fine too, or a razor. And you want to trim those images right to the very edge of the image itself so you uh, eliminate, hopefully, any seams, lines, or whatever. So we prepared three tumblers. They've been solid, solidly taped. And now we're gonna move over to the machine and give you an idea of how to use the new 20 ounce tumbler mug press by JTrans. Okay, since we posted the news about this uh, mug press or tumbler press, I should call it, uh, we've had a lot of questions, you know, will uh, attachments be available or replacements, let's say if the sleeve goes out on this, we know that we're going to be able to replace in the future the sleeve when it finally gives out or whatever, all right? And, um, you know, as far as attachments and everything else, we're working on it. So right now, the purpose of this release is for you guys that want to do 20-ounce skinny tumblers. Can it do a 30-ounce skinny tumbler from what i understand no we cannot because the tumbler a 30 ounce is longer all right so you got to play with it i mean you can do a, a a skinny tumbler in here that has a handle because uh you can adjust the screws in the back uh for pressure and we've already adjusted ours and the press is not turned on and the tumbler is in there and i can't move it you don't want to be able to slide the tumbler back and forth. That indicates that the pressure knobs are not um, 
properly set. To tighten it, you turn it uh, to the left. To loosen it, you turn it to the right, okay? So we slid in a blank just to show you, all right? And you turn on the heat press. Now, when you look at your control board, and I hope you can see this, it's kind of hard because I'm by myself doing this, all right? Um, you have a mode button. So what you want to do is you want to hit the mode button. In your instruction book, it's going to say uh, set. Mode and set are the same button, okay? So you hit mode. You see the set is on. Hit it again. Now I can adjust the temperature. I can go up. I can go down. I've already preset it for 365 degrees. Hit mode again. I have it set for 45 seconds. Again, you can go up, you can go down. You hit mode. And there it is. It is right now heating up. Here's my Celsius and Fahrenheit button. So there's Celsius, Fahrenheit. Nice and simple. You can't go wrong. So we're going to wait for this to heat up to 360 degrees and we'll be back. Okay, the mug press has reached a uh, temperature of 365 degrees. We're going to take our tumbler. The uh, part where we taped it at the seams is going to be face down. We're going to slide it into the press and center it. Close the press. And press the start button. Alexa, set time for 45 seconds. I always have a backup. Okay, the timer has gone off, and now we're going to take the tumbler out of the press, and pardon me, and my camera angle, and we're going to turn it 180 degrees. Make sure it's centered in there. Close the press. Alexa, set timer for 25 seconds. Okay, the second timer has gone off. There's the tumbler, and we're going to peel it. So give me a second, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what we did is we proceeded and made three tumblers, okay? What you're looking at here <clears throat> is the uh, white glitter tumbler that I was telling you about. That's going to be on our website. I don't know if you can see the glitter in it. But it came out beautiful. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did screw up a little bit. I'm not used to doing skinny tumblers. It's been a while. And I was actually in a rush making this video for you guys this morning. But as, as you can see, it subbed absolutely gorgeous. But in the back, you could see the line. And that's because I did not line it up. Again, I was in a rush. My apologies. But I know there's girls in the group here that do tumblers all the time and they do it a beautiful job. No seam. Next time I'll, I'll go a little bit slower. So this is the white glitter tumbler. OK, this here is the green glitter tumbler or the teal green. You can see the glitter and you can see the detail in the elephant. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. And as you turn it. It just came out beautiful. And again, look what I did. You can see where I matched it up perfectly. There's no line, but down here I screwed it up. Again, ladies, <laughs> my apologies. I'm getting old, okay? The third and final one is the stainless steel sublimation tumbler, okay? And again, beautiful color. This is stainless steel. Didn't have to worry about a line on this one. That is the edge of the picture. And the other edge is here, but there's no line. But again, I was able to do three tumblers in 210 seconds. All right. Each tumbler took approximately 70 seconds. Um, no shrink wrap, no silicone, uh, silicone mat, uh, no, you know, six to eight minutes in an oven. So what you're looking at is the day trans. 20 ounce skinny tumbler press. It works awesome. I'm very happy with it. 
It's going to be up on our website very, very shortly. You'll be able to place an order. And please keep in mind, uh, as of today's date, which is, uh, what is it, April 3rd, I think, um, the day before Easter, we do have these on order. They are on their way to us. We have uh, right now 25 units coming in. It's going to be first come, first serve. And the link will be posted below this video. Have a great day, ladies. And if you have any questions, uh, you can call me Monday through Friday from 9 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. Saturdays from 10 to 4 at 631-730-7228. And that's Eastern time, like I said. Uh, this item will be available for layaway, but in order to initiate a layaway, you have to call the office, uh, you know, to start a layaway on this heat press, uh, mug press, I should say. All right. Have a great day. Have a, a blessed Easter, and I'll talk to you guys soon.